Hello everyone and welcome to a very different kind of video today because today is sneak peek Sunday well not today but tomorrow but I'm uploading this tomorrow so for you it's sneak peek Sunday and today I'm showing you what I've been up to this whole time if you follow me on Twitter you will have probably seen already that I randomly talk about a quote-unquote secret project I'm working on and yeah as I revealed yesterday uh, the secret project is a computer game and yeah that's basically how it looks at the moment it's a very 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 early stage of the game so don't expect any fancy graphics or so uh, the character model as you can see is pretty basic at the moment um, the bottle will be edited later but as you can see there are a couple of animations already uh, the isle animation where the arms swing a little bit if you Notice on the right side of the screen the hand shakes a little bit up and down. And yeah, then there's also a walking animation, a sneak animation, a sneak walk <laughs> animation, and yeah. And jump animation isn't added yet. But yeah, I'll just show you the mechanics of the game at the moment, because there isn't much to show but the mechanics at the moment. As you can see, I have a crosshair, and if I hover over an enemy, it turns red. This, by the way, is not going to be an enemy, mod enemy model. It's just a placeholder for me to test out the crosshair. And yeah, as you can see, it's a first-person shooter. On the left side, I have a health bar. On the right side, I have an am ammunition bar. And in the middle of the screen is a hot bar, uh, where I currently have a P42LC equipped, which is a pistol. I'm currently carrying this in my right hand at the moment, as you can see. And yeah, I can walk around. I can also do right click and it will zoom in. Where isn't, uh, there isn't a zoom in animation really, because we usually plan to make the character put, his bo put both hands on the gun and aim, but yeah, that isn't in yet. So I can also do left click to shoot, and as you can see, the hand moves a little bit up and I and it drains the ammunition as you can see I only have 41 of 42 ammo left and as you can see the song just uh, switched over so there's an embedded music player playing in the background and if I press, press N it switches over to the next song so yeah the hopper basically you can carry three weapons and the way I want it to work is that you have two weapons defined by your main character and one optional weapon which can you uh, which you can choose yourself oh yeah that's basically how it works there isn't a reload function or so at the moment just shoot 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 and there's a fire weight so you can't shoot instantly and you can also not hold the left click button and it will continue to shoot at least not for the pistol because it's a bit unrealistic uh, the hold button to continuously fire option is only available for automatic weapons and the pistol is clearly not an automatic weapon at least not this pistol and yeah the health system is in function the ammo system is in function the hotbar system is already in function as well but currently we only have one weapon to show you so yeah um, another neat mechanic is that you can sprint so if I uh, hold shift while walking you can see I run a little bit faster the field of view of the camera changes as well and if you pay attention the crosshair uh, slightly gets slightly bigger and yeah as you can see you also hear a little breath sound which I recorded and yeah the crosshair is getting bigger and bigger and if you stand still the crosshair slightly get smaller over time because basically the breath determines your accuracy so if I have a lot of if I don't have a lot of breath anymore you will see I won't shoot as accurate anymore whoops I clicked out of the window um, the bullet isn't really landing in the middle there it slightly is but most of the time it won't hit his target so you need to watch out that your breath is still okay 
basically whenever you hear me breathing in the microphone in the background I will just shut up for a minute so you can hear it yeah you should be able to hear that and yeah if you basically hear me breathing it's a good indicator that you should maybe stop running and calm down for a little and then continue so you can't basically make this a parkour fast running shooter game you need to watch out you need to calm down every uh, every now and then and as you can see if i uh, have a have very few breath and it it also starts to speed up the aisle animation, it shakes uh, his hand very very fast and slightly calms down. So yeah, um, but don't worry, this won't affect gameplay as much as you think, because, oh, also by the way, jumping also highs up the breath, as you can see the uh, crosshair is getting bigger and bigger, but don't worry, you can still shoot, it won't hit his target as good as you might think it would. But you can do stuff against that. You can either calm down, or if you zoom in, the accuracy is slightly better. And if you sneak and zoom in, the accuracy is almost the same as if you had full breath. But yeah, um, that's one of the mechanics. Another one is uh, if I calm down for a second, uh, the jumping. The jumping is also a neat mechanic I added. Uh, as you can see, if I jump, I'm not even close to climbing up this cube, but if I crouch and jump, I can climb it. However, this needs to have a specific amount of timing involved, because basically when you jump and hold crouch while, while I airborne, you will basically fall very fast. So if I crouch and then jump, I may jump higher but I also accelerate down very fast. So you need to time this up. Uh, you basically need to release crouch as soon as you jump and if you hit the perfect time you can basically jump over obstacles very easily. However, um, this also increases your breath value so if you fail at this way too often you shouldn't be using it in combat because that's basically a mechanic only real, I don't know, advanced users of the game will use because in the beginning it will basically be very hard to aim for newcomers since their breath will be way too high by the time they will succeed with this power jump, as I call it. And yeah, that's basically all there is to this game at the moment. As I said, there's a Hot bar and weapon system, ammo system, health system, music player, but not that much. The graphics are still work in progress as well as the maps. This is just a test map. Um, I'm not even sure if this map will be in the game. We will see. So, yeah, this is the very, very first early alpha demonstration, I guess, of that game. Um, it will be a free-to-play game, so you, there's not any, there's no cost involved at all. It's just me having fun with a couple of people develop, developing a game. And yeah, uh, we want to share it with you for free. So yeah, I'm not even sure when it will be released, but I will be releasing some previews and sneak peeks every so often about the game and its progress now that you're familiar with it and yeah as you can see we put in a lot of effort in this game I could also show you the health system however um, there's no way to get damaged in this game at the moment as I said very very early and yeah that basically sums up this game so far I hope you've enjoyed watching this and if you want to see more of this just tell me in the comments down below, leave a like so I can see you are interested in this game and we will continue working on it and I will continue previewing it and yeah that's basically it and with this dramatic music I'm just going to say goodbye.